Welcome back, my friends, to the show that never ends. Welcome to this week, one day late, I think, today. And quite late in the day to record it as well, because to be frank, we're waiting for something to happen in the news. And uh, it's been, uh, I flicked through the papers, and of course I'm in them all the time. I'm in the papers today about being engaged to Natasha and getting married and can't wait to walk her down the aisle. Well, I'll tell you all the truth about that in Ustream. I'm not gonna blurt it all out uh, on here and get you all excited. You'd have to come and join Ustream to find out what's going on. Join us at Ustream.com or get them on your smart app, on your television or on your phone. But I've got to say a couple of things today before we keep going. I'll tell you what I'm gonna be talking about later. Uh, obviously me being engaged. William Ragg, he's a Tory MP that sent a picture or got a picture, I'm not quite sure of the story, but he's met someone on a gay shag site called uh, whackitupem.com or something. And uh, there's been pictures of Winkles flying around, there's been dick pics flying around and he's in trouble. Hugh Edwards, remember him talking of, yes, he's um, still the BBC's highest paid newsreader. How hard is that, reading the news and looking concerned, isn't it? Lovely. And Scotland's First Minister, we'll be talking about him, the former uh, pop singer, uh, whom uh, you're, you've, he's, uh, he's very concerned, listen to this, about the amount of complaints that have been phoned in already. People are complaining they want people locking up. And the best story, which we'll, we'll start with, I think, is the civil service. Let me read exactly what's going on. You couldn't fucking make this up, right? The civil servants in the Department for Business and Trade Civil servants are the unelected people that work for the government, aren't they? They're normally little smarmy people. Right, they threaten to stop working over UK arms sales to Israel. Right? So how much do we do? Less than 1%. But it doesn't matter, right? Who do these fuckers think they are? They're civil servants. They work for a democratically elected government in Britain. Well, sack them. Sack the fucking... Yeah, you're sacked, fucking civil servants. You ought to get a grip, you politicians, rather than being on uh, gay dating sites. Right, today, a couple of things. Vicky Wright's birthday today, a heavenly birthday. Um, it's such a bloody shame that she, uh, she passed away. Uh, she's a lovely woman, an absolutely brilliant woman. And uh, she was Bobby Davro's girlfriend, and she, she passed away. Uh, it would have been her birthday today. Here's a picture. In fact, here's a... Well, no, we won't play a clip of her because we don't want to all get upset. But Vicky Wright was a, a, a wonderful girl. And uh, she'd have been 65 today. And she was still tasty. Don't you worry about that. And she's sadly missed here. Sadly missed. I mean, she was part of our plans when we were going to put together Saturday Night Live, this new programme we've been working on for a couple of months. Um, Maybe we'll, uh, we'll, we'll dig some clips out of her from the past and we'll, we'll bring her back to life for a while. So happy uh, heavenly birthday. And another couple of bits of news. It's funny how one door closes, another one slams in your face, isn't it? My, um, when I was married, <laughs> we're going back to that again. Um, the wife before last was called Tracy and she was lovely. I had three children, Charlie, Fred and Elsie. And we were together, I don't know, about 15 years all told, 14, something like that. And uh, she was a very pretty girl, lovely girl, and she had a really good mum and dad, and her dad's name was called Bert. And uh, mum and dad split up, and Bert went off to live down in Weymouth with June. And Bert was a wonderful bloke, and he was without doubt the best father-in-law I've ever had, and probably anyone would ever have. Uh, and Tracy got married a couple of times, so, so there's a few people that are walking around saying Bert was the best father-in-law. He sadly uh, passed away uh, this morning at nine o'clock. Uh, my children were down there with their grandfather to say goodbye. Uh, he unfortunately didn't know they were there. He was unconscious. He couldn't get there in time, as always. I know um, Bert's son arrived first thing uh, this morning to say goodbye to his father, and off he went. Bert was great. First time I met Bert, I'll do an impression of Bert. He come from a place called Ford Houses, have you heard of it? It's near Wolverhampton. Hello, Jim, it's Bert. Do you fancy a couple of pints of Banksy's Bitter? When all the women were moaning, we used to go out and get pissed on this Banksy's Bitter. It was absolutely great. He played in goal for the good year. The good year was a big factory, and Bert was a, played a thousand games. And he was a great bloke, and he'd be sadly missed. And, and my thoughts go out to my ex-wife and her new family, my children, of course, and Bert's uh, son. Well, there you go. And of course, Tracy, the ex-wife, summed it up by saying, well, we got the news yesterday that my son, our son, Freddie, my youngest son, 
is expecting again. His wife, Laura, is expecting their second child and they've had a scan and it's a boy. And Freddie said, look at the size of his dick. And the man said, I think you'll find that's his umbilical cord. Well, you know, one can wish. So as one, one goes, and we say goodbye to, to Vicky, we remember Vicky going, we say goodbye to Bert, and we say hello to whoever Fred's boy will become. You can bet your life there'll be a Bert somewhere in the, in the title, won't there? Anyway, let's have a quick little talk about, uh, let's talk about Scotland's first minister, Yusa Hamath. And then when we go over to Yusuf Dream, I'll talk about Nigel Farage's party. Ugh, you know, have I got some stories for you? Don't you worry. Nigel Farage was there talking. He was great. I don't know how he does it. He's, he's got a heart of gold and a liver that would, would survive a nuclear attack. Right, here we go. First Minister Yusuf Husamath uh, is very concerned. He's very concerned, right? They've had, listen to this, 4,000 complaints have been lodged on the first day alone. What the fuck did this idiot think? Anyone that says anything to anyone that causes an offence, he's saying they can now be arrested. What an absolute wanker. He's also, he's got another war, J.K. Rowling. They're at it again. They're, they're like the Scissor Sisters. Bad move having a go at uh, Yusuf, Yosef, Nosesu. Anyway, right. Uh, she's tweeted about men were, uh, hang on. He said, her tweets about men, be, about men being men were offensive, upsetting and insulting to trans people. So she came back at him with her wand, right? And she said, most of Scotland is upset and offended by Yousaf's bumbling incompetence, but we are not lobbying to have him locked up for it. The whole thing is a fucking nightmare, isn't it? It is a nightmare. Civil servants going on strike. Absolutely incompetent, non-Scottish. Oh my God, the world's bonkers. Come and join me on Ustream and I'll tell you about Nigel's party and I'll tell you about when I'm getting married. Ustream.com, see you there. Hello everybody, Davidson here and I'm here to tell you of an exciting, wonderful thing. You can have a seven day free trial to get all of the Ustream package, if you pardon the expression. Yes, you can grab my package for seven days for no money and then $3.99 plus VAT uh, per month there on afterwards. So go to Ustream.com, sign up and get your free seven day trial. You will love it. Your nickels will dry out later. <laughs>